What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 5 of Angel in the Outfield. The last game was probably the best game yet. Literally a grand slam by Justin Smoke late in the game. We secured the victory and I, I kind of lost my mind a little bit, I'm not going to lie. So we're back. Uh, we finished the last video with two upgrades to the squad and of course we always have to look at the like goal. The goal was set for 2700 likes and of course once again you guys absolutely destroyed destroyed it so that means we have three upgrades to use in this video instead of two since you guys hit the goal in the last video we are gonna bring it up a little bit more the like goal for this video is 2800 likes if you guys hit that number on the like button we will go ahead and add a, another upgrade to the squad in the next video so feel free to hit that button if you'd like to see another upgrade so if we're taking a look at what we can use our three upgrades on we got to go to the comments of the last video the top comment on the last video came from Brandon Fox and he said you should get the live series Alex Wood because he has a funky delivery and that silver Eric Gagne because he's just nasty. So we went ahead and added the silver Alex Wood. He is a starting pitcher. His attributes are a little weird. He's got 73 stamina for a starter so that's pretty low and his per nines are pretty low at 72 68. The 59 velo with the 70 break. Overall this card is just it's kind of an odd card. I don't know how to describe it but maybe that's going to work in our our favor. He's got four pitches, a two seam, a four seam, a knuckle curve, and a change up. And like uh, Brandon said in the comment, the funky delivery is probably what's going to be the best thing about this card. So he is going to be in our starting rotation from now on. And the other guy is 78 overall impact veteran Eric Gagne. We added him to the bullpen. So he has five pitches, the four seam, the Vulcan change, the curveball, the two seam, and the slider. Really good hits per nine up at 93 with 78 Ks per nine. He's got 79 9 velo 78 break this card is nasty any Eric Gagne card is usually pretty good and this guy you know he's not his his 98 overall signature series or anything but he's absolutely nasty so he's gonna be pretty nice to have in the bullpen so those are the two upgrades that we're making but then of course we have that extra third upgrade from the light goal and this is where we're gonna highlight another comment this one is from Mason McDonald Mass Mackin I don't know if I'm saying your name right, buddy. I apologize. He gave me a couple options. He also had the Eric Gagne in there. He had the 79 Live Series Caleb Smith in there. And then he had the 78 overall Billy Wagner from the Wild Card moments. So I went ahead and I picked up the Billy Wagner card. This is our third lefty in the bullpen. All three of our lefties are really good. Chapman, Sale, and Wagner. We have some pretty solid lefties in the pen right now for Silvers. He's only got three pitches. He doesn't have that change up. But the four seam, the slider, and the curveball, if you can mix them up a little bit they should be fairly effective especially with those per nines the velo up to 92 the control is really the worst part about this card 21 walks per nine with 41 control you're gonna have a tough time locating pitches but if you can do it at least semi effectively he might be fairly decent so he's in the bullpen and those are our three upgrades so this one went all with pitching now there is something you guys have to remember Chase Anderson he was a 74 overall bronze he actually had started two games games for us he went up to a 75 silver in the roster update when that happens we have to remove him and replace him with somebody else if we get chase anderson as a silver if we want to bring him back on the team we have to use an upgrade point for him so basically right now we're just going to go ahead and replace him with another bronze it can be whoever we'll go with jake junis from the kansas city royals he's a 73 playing up to a 78 so he's actually going to be pretty decent on the day so he's going to be our new pitcher but but overall, we only have two more bronze starters in the rotation, two more bronze relievers in the bullpen, and then if we take a look at the lineup, nothing changed in the lineup. We've still got the same starting nine, Justin Smoke, Eric Dames, Miguel Sano, the three bronzes that we have, they're still killing it, so like, it's not a big necessity to upgrade them, but they are going to have to make their way out of there at some point, so it'll be sad to see them go. If we take a look at the stat sheet right now, you guys can go ahead and go down in the description, and you can go ahead and check this for yourself if you want to look at any of the stats for Angel in the outfield. These are always updated the day after the game is uploaded, so these the stats from this video will be uh, reflected on Monday. But right now, if we take a look at what Mike Trout is doing, he's got 19 plate appearances, 15 at-bats, and still only one hit. He is walking a little bit. He's got three walks, so his on-base 
Bryce is still at 211, but he's only hitting 067, and that's really gonna have to change if we want to get some more upgrades. Right now, Fran Mil Reyes, even though he's not in the starting lineup anymore, he is still leading the team in average at 444 with a 500 on base. I just am highlighting guys who have at least 10 plate appearances right now. Justin Smoke is leading the team in slugging at a thousand. He's got an OPS at 1412, seven hits, uh, two home runs, six RBIs. He's right up there with Eric Thames is the best hitter on our team right now. But today, we got to get Mike Trout to have a big game. We got to turn around what he's doing because right now it's pretty ugly. So the team is set for this video. We're going to go into a game right now, hopefully get a couple upgrades, hopefully change the way Mike Trout is hitting because he just, he, he is definitely struggling. So hopefully we get a pretty big game right now, get a couple upgrades so we can start working on the rest of these bronzes. Let's get into the game. Here we go. The New York Bombers. We're going to be on the road. Who's pitching for us? Let's get a silver. Okay, we got the new guy we added and we got to face Kershaw. That is, that is not what we really wanted. Okay. Let's go. Get down, ball, please. No, he made the play Mondesi with a line out to start this game. That is brutal. All right, Trout. All right, let's see what Trout can do. He's going to get ahead with a sinker low and inside. Come on, man. Get a hit off Kershaw. Kershaw's probably the last pitcher I want to face. I just I can't stand facing him, so I'm going to really have to work for this hit right here. But I need to get ahead early. Here we go, 2-1, hitters count. He's afraid to face him. Get on base any way you can, Mike. Come on, man. That is gonna be a way. 3-1, big hitters count, or we can take and just get the base and not have to worry about going hitless or whatever. Ooh, good sinker. All right, 3-2, no strikeouts. Come on, just put the ball in play. Whatever happens, happens. That is a hanging curveball. We got all of it, but just a little bit too early. 86 on a very early swing, wow. Let's see here. They gave me a full swing on that? Oh my god, come on, man. Well, that's a nice uh, strikeout to start it for Trout. I literally held up my swing, but the game wouldn't let me. So, we're... <laughs> we've already got a downgrade. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing anything with that pitch. Ooh, that ball was crushed. Luckily, Mondesi's got that good feeling. I don't know if Guriel makes that play. Oh, there's Miguel Sano again. His defense is absolutely costing us. So many base runners are getting on right now because of Miguel Sano defensively. I really am going to need a, third, uh, a good third baseman defensively because right now his bat is great, but his glove is costing us. Slider inside. That's a good pitch, and we got him to pop up. Let's go. Oh, you better get there, Derek. Atta boy. All right, well... Neither of us score in the first inning, so uh, that's a good start to the game. We need to get some offense to give us a little bit of confidence going forward. 3-0, <laughs> we gave Justin Smoke the green light. He's only going to get a single on it because he's got two speed, but hopefully Miguel Sano can put something in the gap or maybe over the fence if we're, uh, if we're really feeling it. Oh my god, what is up with this umpire not giving me any check swings, man? I've got rung up twice. Full count. He's on the move. That's ball four. Good job, Dietrich. Way to work that count. Chirinos is a good guy to have up right now. Full count again. Everybody's on the move with the pitcher on deck. And that's another walk. Okay, so even if we don't get any runs out of this, the fact that we're making Kershaw's pitch count go up, he's already got 41 pitches in the second inning, that's good enough. Oh my god, Jake Junis! The new addition! He's going to drive in two runs with that single. Oh my god, the pitcher just gave us a 2-0 lead. How is everybody able to hit better than Mike Trout in this series? I don't get it. Full count again. Here we go. That is... going to be out. Man, Mike Trout could have had an opportunity there. <laughs> it was totally out... Why didn't I get to throw to first? I pressed the button so I could see the... It never... Why has there been so many issues with catchers throwing the ball this year? You know, earlier in the year you had the meter not popping up. They said they fixed that. Dude, it's like, I have button accuracy on. If I don't get the, the thing, I don't know what I'm going to be... I'm triggered. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe we got that strikeout. What? 
Get in there, Davis. Get in there, Davis. Ah, gonna drop in front of him. Oh, my defense once again costing me, boys. Once again, we'll get this out at second. So we still get an out there, but ah, defense has just been a horrible thorn in my side so far this series. Please, Mondesi, use your speed. That's going to drop. And we're tied. Here we go. I'm not even excited when Mike Trout comes up to the plate anymore, man. He just continues to blow it. I was late as hell on that. I saw fastball and I, my reaction was off. Come on, man. Mike Trout needs to step up. I'm tired of this. There we go. Oh, that's going to get down. Atta boy, Mike Trout. You struck out in your first at bat, but that's a good way to make up for it. Part of me wants to try to send Trout to second in this at bat, but Eric Thames has been so good for me that I feel like I just need to give him this big two RBI opportunity. Dude, <laughs> Eric Thames is so good. Everything he hits is hit hard, I swear. Ah, uh, Chris Davis got that off the end of the bat. That, ugh. Oh my, what just... What just happened? Mike Trout's gonna score. I'm so confused. I'll be honest, I forgot there was two strikes. Miguel Sano? Uh, I just missed it, man. Once again, 3-2, two, two outs. Derek Dietrich, he does nothing against lefties. Man, I had first and second, nobody out. I should have done a lot more damage right there. Dude, Jake Junis is two for two. What is up with pitchers and the bat in their hands this year, man? Mondesi! Mondesi! Get out! It's off the pole! Adalberto Mondesi with the two-run dong. Yo, we're up five to two. That's an upgrade right there because we scored five runs, and that's a check swing from Mike Trout. Why does this game do this to me? Dude, I'm totally hyped about the the Mondesi home run, obviously. That's amazing. But, dude, that check swing contact thing, that, that happens way too often this year. So, I think right now, if we lose this game, we're currently sitting at a zero on the upgrade tally because we have five runs why did i put up four fingers five runs but mike trout has the strikeout so as of right now the upgrade total would be zero if we lose and then obviously two if we win because we'd get the point for winning and then the point for five runs and trout's strikeout would be nulled what a boy so far so good for junis man he's pitching Four and a third right now, only two earned runs. He's got the pitcher spot in his order right now, so it looks like... Wow, he's bringing in... I thought this was the 99 Griffey, and I was like, what? No, but it's only the 89. So Kershaw's day is over. I'd say that's a W for us, man, getting Kershaw out of this game by the fifth. I think we attacked him pretty well. Okay, and then I just hit Griffey. Every time I talk about how somebody's doing, it always bites me. And Tony Gwynn gets the inside sinker to fall in left field. This at-bat terrifies me. Lou Gehrig is the tying run with two outs. He's very early on that inside pitch. will go away. I'm pretty sure he's sitting inside fastball right here, so I can kind of use that to my advantage. There we go. See, he's expanding the zone. I think I'm going to go slider low and inside and see if I can just tie him up a little bit. Good pitch. There it is. Let's go, baby. Read it like a book. So I'm going to get down? Jake Junis, my pitcher, has three hits in three at-bats. Mondesi up the middle. It's off the pitcher. He's got so much speed. He's there. Mike Trout is coming up with first and second and one out. Come on, Mike. Let's go. I'm going to take first pitch to see him in there. Okay. I wanted to see what he would throw first pitch. He went with a fastball. That is a ground ball double play. That's another downgrade. Oh, man, I think I'm just thinking too much at the plate with Trout, man. I'm just trying so hard not to make mistakes that I end up making more mistakes than I would if I actually just approached it like any other at-bat. 
<laughs> oh man, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually, boys. Hang with me. Oh, that ball was grooved. That ball was grooved. I think it's staying fair, and Chris Davis adds another run to the total. That is six runs. We are up by four. Thank you for that power. This seventh inning is going to be big, bro. Jake Junis is throwing a hell of a game. Oh, come on, man. Don't give him those hits with this lineup. He's got a much better lineup than me. Make him work for those hits if he's going to get on base. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bullpen going. Eric Gagne and Billy Wagner are newest additions. I think... What's his name? Uh, yeah, Junis is due up second in the next inning, and I don't think he really needs to go more than seven innings as a bronze starting pitcher. He's thrown a great game, but at the end of the day, like, I got to secure this victory, and I feel like going to my bullpen might be the way to do that, but it's okay. Right now, he's still pitching good. Yo, we can get him out of third. Throw back second. All right, good out, though. We got the fly out. There we go. That out is not going to do anything productive for him. Two down. Come on, Junis. Get out of this inning, dude. You've been amazing. There we go. Dude, he's literally gotten two blue pits this game, or this inning. I've literally outplayed this guy, and he's still got two hits and a run. Early week, bro. What? There we go. Take the out. Nice job. All right. Well, he did get a run, so we're back to a three-run lead. But Jake Junis, seven innings, only three earned runs. I'd say that's an absolute W of a performance for the new guy, too. Okay, Eric Gagne, we used an upgrade point on you, my dude. Do not let me down. And he's already given up a hit. First pitch that he throws is getting hit back up the middle. That's a big-time pop-up. Trout, you better get there. Nice. All right, we got one out. Come on, recover. You can get the out of first. Come on, Dietrich. <sighs> oh, my God. How many of those little bloop shots is he going to get? Oh, we can get him back at third. What? Why is he tagging towards second? First of all, why is that a hit? Second of all, why is my... Uh, mm, I, I just... I want to lose my mind right now, but I'm going to try to keep cool so I can get out of this inning. Nice. Blew the fastball right by him. One more out. Leave him stranded. Come on, man. He's going to George Brett. I'm going to Billy Wagner. I'm going to try to use the lefty effectively right here. He's going to go to a righty, but Tony Gwynn is on deck, so even if he gets a hit right here, I still have a lefty coming up. He's going to Steve Pierce. There we go. Dietrich. It's in the glove. And Dietrich made the play. My heart drops every time that ball is hit towards second base right now. Well, here we go. Mike Trout coming up in the top of the ninth, leading it off. That was a good slider to start him. I thought he was going to go friggin' sinker or fastball all the way. Zach Britton is on the mound. That... This is what I'm talking about, bro. Every good swing I get with Trout doesn't get rewarded. That's going to be just a routine fly ball. Well, Mike Trout once again... Does nothing at the plate. All right, man, we're up by three. Billy Wagner is going to have to get this done for me, dude. I need to win this game because as of right now, Mike Trout is sitting at two downgrades. And if I win the game, the downgrades get erased. And uh, yeah, man, that is that is not going to be fun to have. So I need to do whatever I can to uh, make sure that my opponent doesn't get anything going this inning. That's a great pitch, Wagner. We're going to hit him with the slider away. He's 100% swing. Oh, that's not away. Yikes. Strike three. Blew the fastball by him. I knew he was sitting off speed. I'm going to go ahead and play the matchup right here. I'm going to go with Jordan Hicks. Nice. Hard hit ball, but that's okay. We got a guy there. Two down. One more round. We get another victory. Oh, my God. Make the play. Make the play. Make the play. <laughs> we got him jammed. Yes. Let's go, baby. Okay, so winning that game was absolutely huge for our upgrade count. Before we get into that, though, uh, Mondesi won player of the game. He went two for five with a home run and two RBI. For me, the player of the game was Jake Junis, man. Seven innings of only three earned run baseball. He got three hits at the plate. He struck out four. He did allow eight hits, but at the end of the day, none of those really were that bad because he didn't allow a home run, I think. Yeah, the only extra base hit he got was a double with Gary Carter 
and overall man Jake June has pitched a fantastic game I am super happy with what I got out of him Mike Trout still struggling man we did get a hit so it's not like there's a hitless downgrade or anything actually there's no downgrades but we did get screwed out of that at bat when he got the check swing and you know at the end of the day once again I just I'm thinking too much with Trout right now I just need to step up to the plate with him like everybody else and just let Mike Trout go to work because right now I'm so focused on the series and like oh, I can't go hitless again like it's all in my head and I think once I just kind of put that all aside and play with Mike Trout and Diamond Dynasty like I know how to play with him I think I'll figure it out so next game I think I should be able to do a little bit better okay so the biggest things to look for first is that Mike Trout did get a strikeout and he did ground into a double play so both of those would be downgrades so right now we're sitting at negative two but we won the game so that means both of those are discarded so we're back to zero so we won the game that's one upgrade and then we scored five or more runs that is two upgrades and of course if you guys hit the like goal for this video that will be a third upgrade and remember the like goal I believe is at 2800 so if you want to see another upgrade hit the button Trout did only get on base once he got a hit he was one for five uh, no walks or anything like that so he didn't get on base twice which kind of sucks but at the end of the day it is what it is so we got two upgrades three for the light goal so remember guys down in the comments let me know who you think I should upgrade on this team honestly Miguel Sano has been a great bat for me but he's 0 for 4 in this game he hasn't been hitting as well the past two games and his glove has definitely been a liability so maybe third base would be an upgrade spot you guys want to look at um, Justin Smoke is still hitting amazing for me, so if you guys want to upgrade out of first base, that's okay. We don't necessarily need it at the moment. Eric Thames still hitting the ball hard. Over in the rotation, we've still got three more bronzes to get out of the way. We've got two more bronzes in the bullpen. Preferably both righties would be great. Um, so yeah, let me know where you want to upgrade. Do you think we should keep going with the pitching? Do you think we should move over to the lineup and fill it out with silvers? Let me know down in the comments who you want me to upgrade on this squad. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for Angel in the outfield. Once again, Mike Trout still struggling a little bit, but hopefully we're going to pick it up by the next video. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Drop a thumbs up on it to hit that like goal. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with the rest of the series as well as everything else on the channel going forward. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.